leaders in here do that right hand, cross hand sugar push like that all the time? Isn't that crazy? It's like all this time I've been dancing for five years. I don't ever do that. It's been here the whole time. You can leave money in the tip jar. Okay. So you're going to give her a J hook lead. Ask for the left hand underneath. So one flipper to backwards two and ask for the left hand underneath. This is very much a visual lead. So I'm showing her that I want it. She goes back for a normal whip. I pick that up five, six. I give her a single outside exit. Notice where my left hand is. Do you know why my left hand is not right here? Because it makes her want to close her hip and not land in anchor position. So I'm generous with my left hand so that she stays back into her left hip for the next pattern. Does that make sense? So I'm going one, two, three, and four, five, six, and I'm just really generous with the left hand so she gets to stay in the anchor on the end. Take your part. Okay, <laughs> so with a right to right, we go one, two, we go three, and four, five, and six. We're gonna give a J hook lead, but we're gonna ask for the left hand underneath. One, two, three, and four to a five, six, and over seven and eight. Just like that. From there, last week we did that pull through whip in here. If you weren't here, you missed it. Um, but we did a pull through whip with this whip, whip action. One, two, with this hand, three and four. And I thought we would do something crazy like this. What? Are you kidding? Okay, something like that. Would y'all like to see that again from the other side? So watch this. So if we do a right hand sugar push, one, two, three, and a cross hand sugar push, five and six, J hook lead underneath, one, two, three and four, right hand over five, left hand over six, seven and eight, to a flip to whip, one, two, three and four, to a five, six, lower the left hand, seven and eight, to a side pass, keeping that hand switching back to the normal hand at the end of it, okay, cool? It'll just be kind of fun and mess up your brains just enough to make you realize you have to come back next week and give us more of your money. Seven, eight, one, two, three and four, five and six. Underneath, two, three and four, five, six, seven, pull through. One, two, left hand at light as a feather. Six, under rotate. And one, three and five and. Because I was changing it before. <laughs> that was really good. And hey, hi, one, two, three, and four. Five J hook under. One, two, three, and four. Drape it light. Six, seven, flip to whip action. One, two, three, left hand down. Five, calmly six, work around, ladies. Seven and eight. And one, two, three, and four. Switch back to the normal hand. Five and six. That's nice. That was really to get her good. to even. So you leaders, leaders want to get her to even and you're pulling the rotation out of her. Don't pull her through that too. So you're going to go one, flip her around. Three, pick your right hand up. Do nothing. Pick your left hand up after and let her finish a good work around anchor. Okay? All right, here we go. Lift. Right to right. Three and four and five, six, seven and eight. Oh, that was yes. enough. It was tiny. It's tiny. So it goes tiny, pick that up, bring her back, pick that up, let her do her job. Are you with me? Yes, it's so small. And now on this pattern, we're starting off with that hand over the top and it's an outside edge hand. So it's pinky to pinky edge, right? Now from here, we're gonna do a one and prepper towards us two, small prep towards two. So we go one prepper towards us two, just like that. Followers should now be forward on the left foot like you mean it. And now you've received a little rotation, so you know you're going to be spinning to the left because you got prepped to the right. Leaders, you're going to do a drop triple and then step away from your partner. So you go drop triple step away. And that step away creates the same elasticity that a normal whip would if you were in closed position with your hand at the back, right? Now from here, open sideways, the right hand went up like before, five, then six, then seven and eight. Notice how generous, notice how generous I'm being with my right hand. So just like on a regular whip, I need to keep the statue intact. So the right arm of the statue goes on the right side of the body. And when we do our normal whip, oftentimes when we give that lady a J-hook leak, we don't know it, but we're leaving our hand on this side of the follower. So even though she gets backwards, she's struggling to do it and feels this extra stretch on this arm because I wasn't generous enough to let that arm stay on the correct side of the statue. Are you with me? So as I give her this lead for a normal whip, I send that to the far side of her. And when she goes out, I send it to the far side of her again. She's like, yes, I can dance in a straight line. But when guys are giving J-hook leads, you end up pulling the lady to you between the one and the two. So you go one and you pull her towards you. And that shouldn't be happening. I need to leave her on her line when I ask her to turn around, not pull her toward me. Are you with me? 
So in this cross hand position, it's even, you have to be even more aware. So when I give her this J-hook lead, my right hand is going to flip her around and then go to the far hip. You see where my right hand is? It's on her side, not my side. Yes, she goes through. Ah, I'm being generous with that. I take this over. And then again, I'm being generous with this hand. So that's the end of that first pattern. From here, we're going to get the ladies to go forward on one. One, we're going to prep her towards us on two. So we're going to go one, prep her towards us two. One, prep her towards us two. I can't be pulling while that happens. I'm going to do a drop triple step away from her to create a little elasticity. So I'm going to pick this up and go drop triple away from her to get her to come back to me on three and four. And I'm going to open the door just like I did before. Five, six, seven, and eight for now. That's what's going to happen. I just need you to recognize we're just doing a similar pattern, but it's coming from a flip to whip action, a pull through whip, instead of from a J hook. First one was J hook, she turned to the right. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight. The second one, I give her a one prep two, she turns left. Three and four and over, five, six, seven, and eight. Are you with me? All right, so take your partner. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes? That's really good. Make sure you get up till five. So the first part's okay. One, two, three, and get her moving back to you first. Now right hand up five, left hand over six, and you were doing that at the end of four. So just be a little more patient. So one, two, I get her to move back to me, but my hand's not up yet. You already had yours trying to go around her head. Now five, now six, now seven and eight. Work around anchor for the ladies. And we want to make sure as the leader that we're not causing that by giving her too much twist. So we're just really floating that. So the ladies, you guys remember that the ladies, um, they're always at a little bit of a loss as to whether we want them to do a single or a double. And when it's a double and they didn't get the memo, it really, really, really sucks for them. And so you want to make sure that you're very clear in your delivery. So as I bring her through here, I'm so calm with my hands that in no way does she feel like she's getting a double spin. And so when you leaders are a little bit quick through the five, six, she goes, oh crap, this person doesn't lead very well, but makes, is thinking I need to do a double. So she goes one, two, and you go three. And there's a, just a little busyness there. And she's like, oh, you want me to spin? And like, no, I didn't want you to spin, but I caused it as the leader. I made her nervous. Act as a calming agent. Calm down, dude. One, two, three, calm down. You just want to do it. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'll get a girl to do a workaround that doesn't even know what a workaround is. Just based on the lead of getting it to be calm on that side, right? All right, here we go. Ready, and one. Your arms are just soft. That's right. And we're just going to pick up that right hand and that left hand and let her go back out. Is that right? Good. And we'll do that again. And again, this is...